we are late for our go in the new transit custom because England is being very English and flooding. Why am I in a Ford? It's a fairly long, well, fuck, it's not that long story. Volkswagen have alluded to and are now definitely sharing the same production facilities as Ford are using for the new Transit. I've, I've been booked to have a go in this thing for a while. Um, interestingly, Volkswagen yesterday launched the teaser video of the new T7. I guess it's strange timing that the day after the launch, I'm jumping in this. The reason I'm in the Ford is because I think it's gonna be bloody similar to the Transporter. Um, in fact, I'm sure it is. So, while this has got blue oval shaped badges all over it with some pretty hectic looking writing that says Ford, I think I'm pretty much driving the new T7 Transporter. And I just wanted to have a look at what we're dealing with, which feels like a transit. Oh shit, what is that? I've been in it for less than five minutes, so this could change, but it, um, if you've spent your entire life in Volkswagen vans, and um, this isn't me sticking my chest out, it just, just happened through what we do with Stitches and Steel, but I've probably been in north of a hundred Volkswagen transporters over the last 10 years. And um, while I've driven other vans, this new Volkswagen transporter does feel like a Ford. I mean, of course, it is a Ford. We are in a Ford. The steering wheel is chunky. It's a funny shape. It's not round, it's square. The gear knob is, I mean, I'm a, I don't know, I was about to say I'm a weirdo that, that, that obsesses over detail. The gear knob looks ridiculous. It feels strange. And that, and not being a, a, a deliberately annoying stickler for detail, just um, I'm just saying it feels like a Ford, which I'm down with. It's not a bad thing. It doesn't feel like a transporter. The throw of the gear lever, I mean, they're gonna do these in four models, the Volkswagen variants anyway. And um, yeah, the, the manual gearbox just feels long and like a transit. But this, that's cool. There we go. We're leaning into the corner. Oh. I will update you on what spec we're running here. I've got no idea what it is. But it's pretty, um, pretty gutless. It keeps yelling at me too. There's no one there. Clearly a thousand sensors all over it and it's trying to save my life, but um, there is stop beeping at me. I'm used to going into the, the Volkswagen dealership a lot and um, <laughs> it's quite clear that the Ford customer service team hasn't been sent on the same course as the employees at the Volkswagen dealership. Lacking slightly in personable skills, charm and general giving a shit. Um, long story short, haven't got much time with it today. The Stitches and Steel studio is the other side of town. And um, they suggested a test route, which I've ignored. And now I'm firing through town at a million miles an hour, desperate to get it to the studio to show the lads and see what they think of it. Look at that. Quite like the black logos. Black on black, that's yeah. cool, huh? I haven't looked in the back yet. Oh shit, Max is gonna tell me off I was filming in portrait. That is a fresh pan. What do you oh, reckon? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I got a very strict time frame. I'm supposed to be back there in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is for it. That's 500 quid extra. What? Yeah. I'm in track. OEM. OEM. Light. Yeah, I got no idea what the spec it just, is. Just a few little things like there's no arch liners and stuff like that. I just wondered no if. Arch no. Right. It's just. I tell you what, I thought it was going to feel. It feels very transit. 
bit more clunky. Which is fine. Like, it's not a shit vehicle at no, all. No. It's amazing. But, um, it feels like a transit. Jump in. It just yells at you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, square steering wheel. <laughs> yeah. They used to be round. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, the dash is all right, isn't it? This is very Volkswagen. Yeah, that bit is, but then there's That's like... That's like the Golf. This is Volkswagen-y. Yeah. I, there's I, just I, quite a lot of things going on in here, which is fine yeah. too. <laughs> That's... Ford have always been freaking sweet at cup holders though, huh? Yeah. How's the bulkhead? That's fabric, not metal. Nice. I like that. Is it metal from the other side? No. Uh, okay. Plastic. plastic. Nice. And there's no like so no holes. stalk here? Oh yeah, sure. I guess that's like tradie, so you don't like smack it with your leg. Tradies yeah. have got big knees. Yeah. You've seen if the front looks sick, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really hard to argue with the front. Like, like the actual like the shape. Really I really like, like it. If the transporter comes out looking anything like that, I think it'll look really smart. But it looks like a transport a bit. Already, yeah, yeah, I know. Do you reckon it's me a transporter? Or Ford? I think it's 100% Ford. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think, I, think it's I think the Volks Volkswagen will bend the fact to make it look like a transporter, which is great. Yeah. When you, it, just it just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, feel, it doesn't feel like a transporter. And I, I, that's me being a freak, but like, even the, like the throw on the gear knob is like long rather than short. And it may, the German, I don't know. It doesn't feel like an old German rifle. It feels like a baggy English bucket. Plastic. Oh, nice. That looks like it's going to be a pain to fix, Rue. Yeah. It's just quite plastic, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I wonder. I wonder if the Volkswagen's going to come with, <clears> like, a few extra Gucci bits. Bits that are a bit nicer. It's going to be a dickhead to fit awning rails on these. Look, if I come up. Yeah. Holy mole. Yeah, that is, isn't it? It's fun. Yeah. Well, they've done that, haven't they? To make sure everyone only fits their aero bars, because that's how... Because they... their, their bars, have you seen, they fold flat. They're sick. Yeah, it's really hard to argue with that. How is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, they are amazing. That's pretty freaking cool. You can get your fourth passenger in here. Smuggler. The smuggler's hatch. You can get your, your nine foot surfboard in. Just poke the nose in there. Morning. Yeah, I've got no idea on the spec. It looks like a transporter engine. Because it's got the big old box on top. That uh, looks like the T6 engine. I don't know if the engines are made in Romania. I've got no I idea. I can't wait to see what box I can do to see if they make any improvements on it. That's what I want to see. It looks different. Yeah. Apparently, the internal people say the Volkswagen one is better. Really Cooler do. looking, which I probably agree with. Yeah. Alright, what's the verdict before I piss off? Good. You happy? Yeah. Joshua? Yeah. You into it? I'm into it. Can you make it stop yelling at me? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you get a digital dash in your... Just screams it's bad. <laughs> oh, don't be like those dinosaurs on the forum. Well, the Ford. thing, the thing is, they all yell about the, the all the all the new modern Volkswagens were shit, and now yeah, it's before yeah. it's like really shit. Yeah, yeah. I'll never have one of them, and then the next one, like, oh, actually, it's grown on me. Yeah, you're like, oh, fuck off. But Volkswagen officially released the Volkswagen version, the Transporter, yesterday, and it's good timing because it allowed me to have a look at all the people that were posting about it, blogging about it, and um, ah, oh, I love to have a look at the comments, and um. Of course, it was a bloodbath. Statistically, 70% of the reason people comment is to comment and articulate their views in a negative way. So let's be honest, it's, it, it, it's rare that you, three out of seven are gonna be saying nice things. Most people like to flog an idea or a concept. And um, as you can imagine, the same crew were at it, just telling everybody that this thing is their pits. They're gonna keep their Volkswagen van the new Volkswagen one's gonna be the blah, blah, blah. I've got a feeling they're the same people that bash every new Volkswagen, regardless of where it's made. The hilarious thing is, I think in a couple of weeks when the official press photos come out of the Volkswagen variant of this, um, they'll be the, ah, oh, actually, it's growing on me now. Um, 
I think Volkswagen will hit it out the park styling wise. I think it's funny watching other people in the I don't really consider us guys. Not 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 that we're we're elevated or doing anything different to the industry as far as van conversions goes. But um I have seen a lot of other converters, especially in Europe, busy themselves with all of the iterations that Volkswagen have launched over the last three years from the T7 multivan um, which is effectively a Charan as far as I'm aware I've had a go on one it's just a big Charan which for the record were cool when they did the VR6 one they were never cool they just had a VR6 in that thing was never going to be mass market for people like us that use these things for adventures ID buzz obviously happened people got really stuck into that I think that'll serve a purpose but um, I think us transporter guys who've had TE5s, T6s, etc., this will be the one that um, we will go and buy. It's going to be 35 grand. Um, it's a van. It isn't a hybrid. -y. Well, there will be hybrid variants, four motion ones, um, diesels, full electric versions. But I feel like there will will be a gravitation towards this van in a pretty simple spec with a diesel engine for a good few more years to come. The guys that use these, like us a lot, like hybrid, yeah, sure, that can work. Uh, right now, I'm on the furthest eastern fringes of the United Kingdom, and I like to go surf, and I need to know that if a storm is gonna hit the coast over there I can just jump in this thing fill it up with some fuel and go and do what I love to do and that can be a meeting it can be work it can be that and yeah I think you could give me some environmental slack for jumping in a van and hacking 300 miles with a blasting a tank full of diesel to do that but I'd rather do it in an electric vehicle but I just don't think the tech and the infrastructure for commercial is there quite yet. And I do think we'll see another five years to 10 years of cutesy little economical diesel engines doing their thing. And I think a little diesel engine in a probably a very good looking Volkswagen chassis. This is the Transit, right? It is a Volkswagen. Um, I think it's gonna be a hit. And um, yeah, I'm whizzing around in this thing. It feels great. It, 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 I think for 99% of people, when this is in the Volkswagen dealership with the Volkswagen logo on the steering wheel and you're getting good coffee and you're going to be falling head over heels for the thing. Um, I think the brigade that is anti-transit probably have to eat humble pie because think this is going to be a bloody good next chapter in the story. You've got to remember, the Transit is Ford's best-selling vehicle in the United Kingdom. Um, they've been making vans for a long time too. I know the lineage of the Volkswagen one is 71 years now, 72 years. Ford launched theirs in like 65. The amount of times as well at Stitches and Steel we get hit up for, do you do Transit this, do you do Transit that, Transit, Transit, and we're all like, ah, no we don't. But the answer is now, yeah we freaking do. Um, Volkswagen and Ford sharing the same platform, it's going to be a field day. It's going to be great. We'll go to town on it, we'll make some cool shit, and um, we'll go for it. It'll be interesting to see the price thing, if, um, if there's a big difference and a big gap in the price between the two. But um, hey, figure that out. Yeah, it'll be funny to see if people have to go and have the Volkswagen badge and spend an extra five grand. Right, I'm about to get back to the lovely Ford dealership. <laughs> yeah, not a great experience with these dudes. Um, but maybe that's something I'll have to get used to. Alright, here we go. God bless.